All right, so today I'm working on a Briggs & Stratton. This is a 12,000 watt generator. It's a standby propane generator. Briggs & Stratton motor, Briggs & Stratton um, generator. And it has a bad capacitor. Here's one of the capacitors. That's what it looks like. That's what a bad one looks like. <laughs> Here is the replacement. I'm already wiring it up and I'm deciding to make a video to show you how and where to change the capacitors. They're hiding right up above this generator. There's a, a black looking tin box that they hide in that keeps them uh, safe and cool. And that's where they're at. You unplug them, replace them. This is where this guy goes. Put your zip ties, new zip ties in. I hope that sun isn't too crazy for you. And they plug right back into here. And I already installed in a zip tie right there, if you can see it. I don't think you can, but we'll review the video and see how it goes. But that's where your capacitors lie, and that's where you change them. Uh, what it was doing was putting out about 10, 9 volts of electricity. So I made some phone calls, and they're saying change the capacitors. And that's what I'm doing. We'll give it a test run in a minute. All right, now film... Good to go! 